Welcome to Mustard TV and the first episode of Pressure Cooker. We'll be exploring some of Norfolk's finest restaurants and putting their head chefs to the test by bringing along our own secret ingredients. Today we're at the Lavender House in Brundle and in the pressure cooker it's renowned chef Richard Hughes. Let's go meet him. Richard, nice to Hello. meet you. Hi. Nice to see you. Right, I've brought along lots of local ingredients today to test you okay. out. What do you think you can rustle up for us today? What have we got here? I think this looks like some local cheese, some bin and blue, which is one of my favourites, mm -hmm. onions obviously, uh, some spinach, and then obviously the main ingredient looks like we've got beautiful fillet of free range pork here, and most importantly, of course. Beautiful <laughs> bottle of local beer from Norfolk Square Brewery. I think we can get something really sensational out of this. I'm thinking um, beer braised onions, mm -hmm. pan fried local pork fillet, and a beautiful bin and blue cream. How does that sound? Sounds good. Sounds really good. I'm going to leave you to it. Okay. And I'm going to come back and see you in a few minutes. Thank you. I'll okay. do my best. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, whilst Richard's creating in the kitchen, let's take a look around the lavender house. Originally established in 1962 as the Old Beams, the Lavender House restaurant opened its doors to the public in 2002 and has now been serving locally sourced rustic Norfolk cuisine for over 10 years. Making sure to be on site for almost every service, Richard and his staff believe that the customer experience is paramount and have strived to shape the Lavender House into the perfect place for customers to celebrate that all-important special occasion. The unique feature of the restaurant is the kitchen theatre, the only one of its kind in the county. Diners can enjoy the six to nine course tasting menu whilst overlooking the action of the kitchen. It's an ideal night out for anyone looking for a unique culinary experience. Richard. It's smelling really good. Good, good. The proof will be in the eating, won't it? So, Richard, it's not, it's not just all about the restaurant, is it, here at the Lavender House? I see on your top about the British Cookery School, yeah. I saw an award outside. Yeah, I mean, it's a big passion of ours, actually, to, to teach people to cook. That's what we love to do. How are we getting on here? We're nearly there. These onions are coming along there yeah. beautifully. We've just cooked them with some butter, with um, some fresh sage, uh, and, of course, our, our local beer. We've mm -hmm. pan-fried the pork. Fill it and put a tad of our beer in here yeah. as well. We've got some double cream, and then you can see loads and loads mm. of this beautiful bin and blue cheese. Put my pork fillet yeah, back, oh, in you're putting my, it back uh, in my bin and blue sauce. Yeah. This smells beautiful, this sauce, it does. doesn't it? It smells so good. Really pleased with that. We're now going to very quickly fry a little bit of this spinach. Every, um, every service will do what we call a nostalgia table. So, for example, Saturday we had somebody celebrating their 65th wedding anniversary. They got engaged here. Oh. You know, and that happens every week. And we don't sort of take that lightly. Put this together. So you can see our onions have cooked down. They're quite soft. Yeah. All right, full of that beautiful beer flavour with the fresh sage. So let's take our pork fillet, very rich, you can see, but you can smell that um, you can bin smell, and blue. You can smell the cheese, definitely. Yeah, a lovely, lovely cheese. A little bit of salt and pepper in here. You see how quickly that spinach I love spinach. Spinach. spinach is just... So we're just going to take it out, squeeze some of the liquid out, like so, because yeah. we don't want that in the dish. We pop that on the side. This is how easy this dish is. A beautiful dish, look. Beautiful. On there. We're going to take a tiny little bit of the smoked paprika. A job done, look at that. So there you have your fillet of local pork, bin and blue cream, beer braised onions, fresh spinach. Lovely. Simple as that. And now it's time for me to taste Absolutely, it. Absolutely, yes. Okay. That is really, really good. Mm. Richard, thank you for taking the no, challenge. thank you. This is just gorgeous. I will be back for dinner very, very soon, so look out for me. Look forward to it. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back next time for Pressure Cooker.